Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome to another episode of Cyber Insider guys. Now, I do appreciate Oh my god, hold on real quick. Hey, what's All going right, on everybody yes. and welcome to another episode. Uh, for a minute there I was kind of confused on a little bit of things, but I'm glad that everybody's here guys. If you're on our Twitch or Facebook live, oh, I'm just All reverbing right. over myself. There it is. All right, there we go. I had I had to get rid of that. I was like, why am I reverbing over myself? Anyway, guys, if you're joining us from Twitch or Facebook live, welcome guys. My name is Duncan. I am your host of Cyber Insider. Yes, I'm not in the studio today, guys. Uh, I'm actually transitioning to some stuff and doing some things, but uh, I am here nonetheless doing this awesome show as usual. Now, I know I'm I'm not wearing these, this awesome... I'm just going for gun flexing. Ugh, guns they are... No, I'm just kidding. But as you guys know, uh, what is it? It is the summer still, or kind of rolling out of the summer, going into the time of when we have to worry about Halloween, which I'm just excited about, but Halloween and in general... But we gotta be doing that, guys. But um, anyway, just wearing a regular white beater. It says nothing on it. Typical shirt. Plus, I've been doing a lot of work around the house, so. Uh, but nonetheless, guys, we are here to discuss. And <laughs> I know the topic seems a little bit weird because a lot of you guys go like for controversy's sake. Um, and so this is something I've been I've been kind of seeing lately, and I and I've been kind of a uh, really. Uh, what is it? Uh, ecstatic about it's. It's the fact that we see a lot of games out there that are made for controversy. Uh, things that people bring up to build controversy, to talk controversy. And it's, it got me thinking on the idea is that, is things today being done for controversial sake? You know, like, I just want to be controversial, so I'm going to make a game this way. One of the games that came up to me in this kind of discussion was, uh, and, I'll, and I'll bring it up here, I'm, I'm trying to remember it. Uh, I think Fight, was it Fight of the Gods? Was that fight of gods, where basically you're different deities, and uh, you basically fight it out amongst each other, and I think that's kind of cool. Like, I mean, <laughs> that's for me. It's not the ever greatest thing ever, but I'll show it to you guys. This is this is the game itself, and I'll show you a little bit of the clip it, so you guys can kind of get an idea of what we're talking about here. So give me a second here. I'm, I'm just trying to bring it up. So if I can, if if the display goes on this. Uh, so also, guys, I want to definitely say, guys, also check out our sponsor, Jinx, guys. If you've not checked them out, boop boop. Check it out right there. Make sure you check out Jinx, guys. Go to their website. They've been nothing but awesome people. Great sponsors. They've given us a lot of quick, was it cool swag and stuff like that. So I appreciate it, guys, for being here. And guys, you you guys kick ass. So anyway, guys, uh, nonetheless, I want to also just go over. So we're going to look at this trailer. This is uh, Fight of the Gods. Hopefully you guys can hear it as it goes because I'm, I'm going to have to hear it too. So um, let's see. Can we add a display there? Jesus one is existent. Okay, so this is this is the game right here, and hopefully you guys can see it. Let me see if it, you get the sound. We'll give it up there. Okay, so this is it. So let's check this out. Check this out. It's Fight of the Gods trailer. We're gonna see what, what's going on with this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I kept watching it over and over and could not stop for five seconds to just go like, what the fuck is cross? Like, could you get as bad as puns could get in that five minutes of, he's cross? Like, he's cross? Like, could you get as bad as puns could get in that five Sorry, I had to hear myself in that point. I, I could not, I just, I kept, I kept trying to think to myself, like, why, why is this something that people are offended by? It looks pretty funny, right? Like, you know, and then I, I kind of got to the part of where it's like, okay, it's, it's different. Like, to me, like, I look at it as, like, satirical. Like, you know, it's a funny thing. 
to where uh, it's it's not so bad. It's like it's not the worst thing that you see out there. It's it's something that you go like, okay, is this? Are they trying to be controversial? Are they poking fun at religions because we're gamers and like it shouldn't really offend you? Because if you're gaming, I don't think there's any point in your day in your life that you should be offended by that kind of stuff. But the other part comes up is are they doing it because they want to get hits or referrals or things that people themselves want to see over? Like, are these people really making a conscious effort to, you know, go out of their way to have people pay it? Because to me, that doesn't seem that way in this. Now, I could be wrong. Uh, I mean, what do you guys think? I want to hear what you guys have to say, like, on your side over there on Twitch or on Facebook. It's your guys' opinion because this is a talk show. It goes both ways. So if you guys want to talk to me, go ahead and talk to me. If you don't, totally fine. But I always ask that you guys participate in this kind of stuff because I think it's actually something cool. You know, um, so we look at that. And we see that, it, to me, that's it's poking fun of. I don't think it's super offensive because it doesn't say whose God could beat whose God. But I think more or less that it's in the sense of where it's like they're trying to be joking by messing around and stuff like that. Like, that's something you would find on a uh, Moral Oral. If you guys if you guys don't know what Moral Oral is, that you would something you'd find on that. Like, they're making f like fun of, like, Jesus fighter. You know, and, that, and to me, that's kind of like that's where it should be. That's funny. That's something you would enjoy. But then you look at other stuff like when you go over... Now, I'm going to pick another one that it was very controversial. That it was just like the game that people did not care for. And were really pissed off about it. They were really, really upset about this. Uh, and let's see. Hold on. Uh, so we're going to go this one right here. All right. Um... Let's see if this is right. If I'm correct. Okay, so this game came out, and a lot of people definitely got super pissed off about this. This was not because it reflected so many gruesome things and was so brutal. It, people had to question, was this the twisted sense of these people, or did they really do this for shock value? Now, like I said, the last one, I didn't think was so much for shock value. I thought it was for something more of like, hey, we're poking fun because, you know, religion. You know, and, and that's fine. But that, that one before was banned. Was banned in Malaysia. Actually, what's got Valve banned off, or Steam. Steam is banned off of it. And, and I just kept going like, that's banned. Now it's because it's 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 they're trying to avoid any type of uh, confliction between the two. So we're seeing like between these two entities and having that confliction. And and I and I think that's cool and all. But at the same time too, when you say like, oh, this is cool, like, do you really do you really think it's cool, or do you, you just you're like you just don't want to say anything because you don't want to be that guy? Do you feel like you know like shit? I don't want to say anything. And I, I get that because like you you want to be with your friends, but you don't want to make it awkward. Some people will have to swallow it down and they feel shitty about it. And I think that's a that's a shitty thing to deal with, man. Like, if you're forced in that position. But if it's something that I feel... I mean, at least I feel we can all talk about religion and take a little, you know, joke about it. But if everybody is going to be too serious about it, then it, it, it feels like then maybe that is a very, you know, sensitive moment right there for that country. You know, enough to ban a video game and a whole system of video games. Dude, I bet you there's someone suit like all oh, the whole country just got pissed off. Like, dude, fuck you, fucked our Steam, bro. We were trying to play video games with everybody else, and now you fucked it because you made a game that was so controversial. People are fucking just pissed off. I feel bad. <laughs> I, I feel bad with Malaysia's doing that. You're like, oh, those poor bastards. Now it's like, it's just working against them the whole way. Uh, what, what are you gonna do with that? You know. So I mean. That's 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 the kind of stuff that I like. I I, I I wonder about. Now, what, what are you gonna do with that? Yeah. Uh, Bob Baker, uh, what's going on? Laughing my ass off. Uh, so which what, what are you talking about, Bob Baker? Are you talking about the video or are you talking about our subject of topic? Because what we're talking about is for the sake of controversy. Why people make controversial games? And I think that's kind of something where we're, we were kind of taking a, like a look into the effect of like if you do video games in a certain manner in a way. So I felt like, hey, why don't we why don't we try something like that? You know, let's let's try to be a little more like consistent. So um, now, okay, so now here's another one. So this one was epically banned, and it gained a lot of PR for it. 
and I, and I was very surprised about what it was, and I was I, I actually followed it out of mere like mere mere uh, what, I I followed it out of mere just I guess. I guess more or less I was just, I really wanted to follow it because I wanted to know what happened to this controversial game. And I, I'm, I'm trying to think in my own words how I would explain that. Like, how would I explain to you guys that I wanted to follow, like, a fucked up game just to see where it went? Like, I was peaked. I think I wanted to see for myself, like, if it was as bad as everybody talked about it. Like, when a game, when somebody says something super bad, I'm kind of also, conf like, conflicted to go, like, I want to play this bad game just to see how bad it really is. How bad it could really get. Um, so on that point, like, so, so just, let's, well, we'll watch this and you guys tell me how you feel about this game. Cause if you feel offended, if you feel this is over the top, but if you don't like, let me know. But I, I just want to know how people are feeling about this. Cause I, when I watched it, I felt a little bit offended and I didn't really pick out a lot of the stuff, but then like when people showed it, they picked it up and was like, oh shit, like this is really offensive. So let's see, let's see if you guys can watch this and, and see if you, what you think. My name is not important. What is important is what I'm going to do. I just fucking hate this world and these human worms feasting on its carcass. My whole life is just cold, bitter hatred. And I always wanted to die violently. This is the time of vengeance and no life is worth saving. And I will put in the grave as many as I can. It's time for me to kill. And it's time for me to die. My genocide crusade begins here. So as you guys can see, that was that was pretty f fucking rough. Like that was a very rough video to what we just watched there. And for that sake, that's 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 something that I was going like fucking rough. Like that was a very rough video. And like it's so that game to me seems super blatantly, just super blatantly doing it on purpose. Like that's that's something where I'm like, you know what you're doing. You weren't doing this to spread a good idea or a great image or anything. You were so a part of that. Now, I'm, I'm all for freedom of speech in games and stuff like that. Um, I think it is a little bit questionable at that time. When we see something like that. <coughs> uh, that, that literally was just... It's very questionable. It's very questionable because, I mean, I mean look at the, the grand scheme of things. You show genocide. You're you're glorifying genocide. You're making it okay to shoot and murder people in any fashion. Didn't I mean? I guess I guess the plus side of anything that he wasn't being discriminatory of who he's killing. So he lives by his creed. <laughs> uh, but I mean, the fact that you preach genocide and people enacting this kind of thought idea is something that makes me wonder. Like that seems more blatant. Like, that seems like a very blatant thing, because if you're pushing the envelope... Now, the studio, when quoted... Hello? The studio, when quoted, they said straight up, 100%, that they were doing this on purpose, because uh, they wanted to push the envelopes of people's thoughts, to go outside the barrier and think things a little bit more, like, go go deep, and also provoke. And I, and I, and I think that's... If it's in the right context, I think that's okay. But in this context, I don't think that's okay. Because if you think about it, it's just, it's like, you're, you're advocating, 
you're advocating the worst thing ever, and that is just genocide. I, am I wrong? Am I wrong about this? Am I am I lost complete? Like going like, what is this one hundred percent? I mean, is that is that so far off depth to what I think this is? I don't know. I mean, I, I need I need to know some kind of feedback to where I think this is like I think this is kind of fucked up more than fucked up. It's fucked up. Uh, but I'd like to hear your guys' feedback on that. Like you know, it, we we say it's fucked up, but what else are we talking about here? You know, so guys. Get, give me give me some of that and let me know what, what you guys think 100% behind that because that's that's the part where I'm like hmm I think that's fucked up so all right so I gotta check something real quick guys okay all right John man Brennan Drake why am I wrong I want I want to know why I'm wrong I mean, put out there why I'm wrong. I need to hear this because I, I want to know why I'm wrong on this. Because, I mean, you guys got it. You're so, so you're saying that Postal itself... I mean, because I know Postal and Postal 2 itself. I mean, okay, so let's let's look at this. Let's uh, Let's see here. So we're going to look at this right here. Let's look at this. So this is Postal, the old Postal. That's that's it right there. All those graphics were crisp. That was that was postal. Uh, that was the old postal too. What is he talking about? I came late and, and can't rewind, and he hasn't said again what he was talking about. We were talking about controversy for the controversial sake, uh, and, and that's and that's the part of where uh, I was, and I was saying like, are some games trying to be controversial just to be controversial, and are games? Or is there a game? Because like we were talking about, uh, was it uh, Fight of the Gods, uh, or Fight of Gods, that it's basically been considered controversial because in Malaysia apparently it's the deities. So hold on. All right, so let me read what this says. All right, but I'll still put the same thing. Uh, what's going on? Because I think the game is Grand Theft Auto because you can basically cause mass genocide. But the game you showed us is just a bit darker in concept. This looks like a 2D version of Redneck Rampage. You're wrong because of the facts, it's a game and at most fundamental level. People are inherently uninteresting, and sometimes you just want to shove a pistol in someone's mouth. Oh, hey, I, I, you know, hey, Th these are all good points. Uh, it's just a game. It's simply the innermost, darkest place of the human psyche. It has to be re researched and proven that these tendencies are in us. Just 99% of the population has control over that. This, which is true, which is true. 
And this, but this is why we, I, t I discuss these things because it opens up our thought process to how we feel to let to know the climate. So if we are alone or with us, so I mean, as much as I don't like the idea of this game promoting mass genocide in it, because I mean, I agree with you on the fact. So Grand Theft Auto itself is not promoting genocide, but you can do that. That is the inner dark theory of what you want. And to me, I think I've just, I think I'm just, I can be sadistic, but I don't think I'm just like run out and shoot one. Definitely there are a game out there like that. It's just like that we have games that are PC just because they're PC or game quality, but was it put second priority of being PC like Mass Effect Andromeda? I agree with you on that, Zachary Harp. So, you know, and so when we look at that kind of whole take on it, it, it puts us in a position to actually go like, okay, so we see that this game like went for super dark. It went for the dark to get its recognized studio name. And they used it as fodder and, and they kept it for where it was, which was a decent game. Um, I mean, I have the game. I have hatred. Uh, I did play it. It was pretty dark. And you know, I was like, you know, I want to, I was, I was intrigued by the, the whole concept of it being controversial. But I also am the guy who played Manhunt 1 and 2. Uh, and I played tons of games that <laughs> consist of horror. So, uh, you know, that's, and that's the part where I go like, Postal never made it onto my list of like, I want to play that. It was more of like, eh, it's Postal. You know, I I'm not going to play a game that's controversial. Like, I need a little more of an end goal. And I think that's where I wanted to see certain games go. And I thought, what's Hatred? And I wanted to see where that went. It turns out it was just basically, you know, just running around and shooting people. You know, you, you really didn't, kind of really didn't fail so much. Can I have that cup behind you itself to the left? Uh, you want my Slytherin or my Ravenclaw? Is that which one are you asking for there, Skylar? Uh, the, and, and to be honest, no, you can't have it because I have Slytherin. My girlfriend has Raven. What was that? Oh, sorry. Ravenclaw. I'm actually a Hufflepuff. I betrayed my colors. So I let that be my constant reminder in the background. So don't talk shit on my Hufflepuff, bitches. I'll Hufflepuff you in the face. Uh, Killing like in GTA is, it, was it, is, was it, is just genocide with less ambition. We can't say something's wrong other than, was it, something is wrong and other are right. Yeah, you know, that's true. That's true. We can't say something's wrong. Eh. Uh, uh. So you guys feel like GTA is on the same level as hatred? Is that what you're? Is that where I'm kind of gauging this? Is that right now, Zachary? I did always think it was funny back in the days when they used to blame video games for everything. I mean, that's that's where people end up having the biggest issue. I mean, like, have you guys not seen that? Let's 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 look at this real quick. Let's let's go back. Uh, we're gonna look for video games. Video games are dangerous. Wow. How dangerous are violent video games? Wow. There's a lot of stuff being published on violence in video games. That is, like, I did not know that was actually a big topic for people. The effects of video games. So they're, they're literally just going through the 15 most racist video games ever. Jesus. There's a lot of, there's a lot of controversy on this. Yeah, Sims made kids burn the house down. Laugh out loud. <laughs> GTA is lame. Whatever happened to it being more about stealing cars? Uh, can I have a gang? Was it gang killings like GTA just genocide with the last ambition? Can't say something's wrong. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sims made me kids. Yeah, you know, making the kids do it. I mean, come on. The Sims also teach us a lot of life lessons, right? The Sims are, the Sims are what are important out there. That's, that's what I have to tell you. I don't know what you came into, Mr. Electron. I, we're talking about our game's controversial for controversial sake. So that's that's kind of where we're at right now. And we're discussing about how GTA has its own little little thing to the side as compared to everything else. Was it, do you also do Twitch? I don't even was it, know how I found you on my feed. Uh, Skylar Morris, yes, I do do Twitch. I am a Twitch streamer. If you guys don't know me on my Twitch, if you guys want to check me out, you guys can check me out here. I'm actually uh, playing games tonight. I'm playing Escape from Tarkov. I play uh, PUBG, stuff like that. Uh, that's where you guys can find me if you want to see me in stream. I'm going to be on. It's like 4 o'clock right now, our time in California. So I'm going to be on in about 3 hours. I play FPS Military Base, Battlefield, and Black Ops. That's very nice, Don. Uh, like I said, I play Escape from Tarkov. 
I play stuff like Total. What was it? Like Escape from Tarkov, PUBG. Uh, was it Daisy? Uh, and then I also play stuff like uh, what is it? Uh, Total War, Warhammer. Uh, I do have Overwatch, and I do play. I, I mostly play survival and horror games. I like stuff that has the FPS. Like that's why I like Escape from Tarkov so much. It's a great game. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, I made the most epic run of it. Uh, but yeah, um, so on Twitch, uh, everything is controversial. Everything is controversial. Everything is, and, and that's the part I always go like, is like it's almost you can. Oh joy, <laughs> oh joy, it's you again. Fine. I used to like Mist, Yura, and Riven. Those are very good puzzle games. I do like those, Don. Uh, Dave Laval. So um, as far as everything goes, that's that's the kind of the spot we're looking at. There is that everything. So it seems like Mr. Electron has said everything's controversial. I mean, do we do we have a limit of where we say what's like? Can we not be controversial? Life is supposed to be controversial. Do you play Ark, uh, Brandon? I used to play Ark. I don't play Ark anymore. Uh, I, I I I got over Ark. I don't know why. I just I liked it for a bit, and it just didn't go. To, and I I know with the new updates and everything, it should be pretty cool. But it hasn't sparked me. But Daisy Daisy has sparked me to come back because Daisy itself is getting a new mass patch update. So I'm I'm excited to see that patch update. So. Uh, we'll probably be playing EFT if you guys don't know what Escape from Tarkov tonight is. That's a really good game, too. If you guys don't have EFT, go get it. Um, but yeah, with controversy, you gotta always look at it like the controversy of, like, life, as you say. Um, but how much is, like, what controversy should we always have? Like, I mean, in my day in life, I think controversial issues are always raised by somebody's ego. You know, because you can't... No, no... Yeah, I think sometimes, no, because I think it would be more driven by ego, or it could be driven by uh, a sense of pride. Because like, cause the thing is, like, some people will speak out, and, that, and, like, and a lot of times when people don't speak out, it's not because they, they don't want to. I challenge the thought and it initiates conversations. I challenge thought and initiates conversations. You should, as you should. See, and that's the thing. So what, what do you, what's your motive behind it, Don? I challenged thought and it was it, and it's controversies. Well, see, that's my thing. If somebody brings me a thought or an idea that's controversial, I'll listen to it. Like, why do you think it's applicable to today's world? And then I think about today's world, and I think, is this an applicable thing? Will this make sense? Why would it make sense? And usually that's how I base a lot of my stuff off. Like, certain games, I don't look at the gameplay, or the, or sorry, not the gameplay. I look at the gameplay not the game trailer of the video that you produce because the video never really tells me much so when you tell me this is what the game should look like or the ballpark or what i should be hyped about i like it but at the same time i'm like eh because that game itself needs to have that kind of atmosphere it needs to have a better kind of sense of where it should be i don't know exchange ideas and thoughts I'd have to agree. Exchanging ideas and thoughts. See, but we're in a climate of now where people are, are so amped up they can't be conscious enough to do that. Like, so here's something that went up that I think is funny. State of California always calls itself progressive. And I think, you know, that we, we are pretty ahead of ourselves at times. But I also think we're very convoluted. And as of recent, crime has increased. Riots. Like I, it was like I said last week. Let's go back to you. <laughs> I didn't quite three. That's true. Um, so, and, and, and here's the thing is that it, it, it equates to this, the violence and increase in California or Orange County itself has increased, not because we, there's something bad that happens. It's mostly because the political climate has changed. And now protesters who are to be fighting for everyone's cause are now attacking people who they think are part of the cause. So now they're so angry, they're attacking innocent people. To me, the, now you're just going out and doing something stupid. You're ruining a good message just because you feel that you're like, you must be heard! You must, like, what are you going to do? It's that anger and hatred that ruins things. It's that anger and hatred that brings people angry. Like, it's, uh, you got to help people understand, or not understand, not, like, learn. Because they'll never understand because they're not that person. But learning helps people progress. I think if we stop learning, we, we, we only hurt ourselves. I love it when someone tells me they are offended. <laughs> well, you know, again, it's, it, it, it's all perspective. It's all perspective, like why people are offended. You know, you may not find something offensive as somebody does find something offensive. 
Sorry. Been a long day. Been doing a lot of stuff. So I mean, when you look at it that way, what 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 what's offensive to you? And do you think it's really what something you should be passionate to fight for? I mean, do you feel that passionate to fight for whatever you think it is? I mean, some people do, which that's why I say it's not always because of one or the other. But I still wonder. Still wonder that. <coughs> the issue now says people seem to get their news from Facebook memes, leaving was that thought was that thought on the side, and it's very lazy of them in this issue that no one researches issues anymore it's and form complete ideas. I have in the past ex military here. Depends. Yeah, it, it's very true. It's very true. It's very true. Hold on real quick. I'm gonna get some water. grabbing water and there is a fine line between censorship too because it never seems that we can walk a very fine line of anything I mean we've proven this countless times we're not good at fine line walking thank you James thank you I do appreciate it if you guys don't know um, usually I do everything inside the studio, but this is my, uh, this is my humble abode. So you'll see that I have a lot of, uh, what's it? If you look at here, I got myself a good collection going up here of my, uh, let's see what Joker, uh, we have some of the, uh, Amiibos. I had to get the Shovel Knight and I had to get, uh, what is it? Mewtwo, childhood thing, Mewtwo. And then going back, a bunch of other stuff. And then I have Funko, Joker, Rick Morty. I have a small, small scaled, if you guys can see it, there's a small scaled uh, bat cave from Hero Clicks from a long time ago. I won first place for it. And then uh, right there is the uh, Joker from uh, Arkham. Not Arkham Asylum, so. Censorship is something that society is changing. This is true. Um, well, I think it evolves with the time. I think censorship and everything evolves with the time and what we're looking at. Um, it's, it's the reason why it should be evolving. Is because that's where I'm at. My brother used to play Hero Clicks. Shut up, Mr. Electron. Don't, don't, don't call out my inner nerd. I don't want everyone to know how nerdy I really am. I mean, I may have been like one of the top 25 in like California for a while from Magic, but you know, that's that's that. I'm not. I'm a very, very sane person. I'm I'm not a nerd. I think in every aspect of the day, I am such a nerd. Like I I like, I can't even get away from this. Like. Like I'll be, I'll have, I have a Game Boy cup I'm drinking water out of, see. But more or less, I'm a huge PC enthusiast. I don't like consoles as much as I used to, so I mean, it's one of those things. I always notice pops since uh, I'm a collector. Very nice, James. It is a huge growing. It is a huge thing that people usually do. What is this? Did I miss this? Two D version of Brandon Rampage. Now, so so we look at those things there. And that's, that's the part that I think is interesting. So we're, we talk about how... So do you guys believe, more or less, that the controversy of games themselves today is what people look for? Or do you think that some people try to actually do it to provoke thought? Like, what do you guys think that is? Do you think it's more of marketing or less of marketing between the two? You know, as we saw in the demonstrations earlier of Postal, Hatred, and uh, the Fight of Gods, that we do see controversy in a lot of these, you know, different titles... But it's also could be the subjects of how gritty it really is. I mean, what 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 do you guys think is what makes it like that popular to non popular? Let's see, what we got here marketing hype one thousand percent of the way. <laughs> you think it's marketing, nerd? Stop calling me a nerd, Mister Electron. I am a nice, upstanding individual over there. I know what I'm doing here. Uh, uh, in part for marketing, it's just some let's play a game. Also adds the scene of doing bad. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's, that I can definitely understand. I understand that 100%. Uh, you know, I, I think it's just always going to be that whole, like, you know, up and down of yeah, work. Yeah, that's true. Ooh. Yeah. It's, that I can definitely understand. I understand that 100%. There we go. I had to take that. I'm also wondering why my voice sounds super down there. But anyway... Uh, so a nerd. Shut up. Uh, so as far as that kind of goes down there, so we, we see that a lot of you guys are agreeing that it is, you think it is more or less about marketing. Um,
Ner- Goddamn nerds. Nerds are everywhere. I'm also trying to get my extension on my hand. Hold on. Hold on. Putting the mic in my face. So that way you guys can hear me better. So I don't have to hug the face out of this. I, don't, I hate hugging the face out of this. Sorry about that. You get to see my manly biceps. The biceps that built this world. No. Um. <laughs> yeah, if you see those biceps, bro. Hype helps bring money to some degree. Uh, okay, been great. Have to go kiteboarding at Wasaga Beach today. Nice! Have a good one, Don Bryce. Thank you for being here. I do appreciate it. Well, I think it's great that you do that you do have that kind of setup for it, man. Uh, I definitely have to agree with you on this. Hype helps bring money to some degree. Uh, I, I have to agree to this. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, it's, it is definitely something that I do see people draw that kind of line of where they say, is this just hype or country? So, but as far as we see, it's just more of marketing. Now, do you guys still, will you guys still play games like those? Like if it says fight of the gods, does it tickle your fancy enough to where you go like, Oh, Hey, I want to do it. You know, I, I think as a part, like to me, it, it does to me, like I, I am tickled by going like, Ooh, I want, I want to play this game. Thank you, Brandon. I appreciate it. <laughs> you think games? You know, Mr. Electron, you could stop teasing me. I'm, I'm not just a nerd. I am a individual with feelings that cares and has feelings and cares. If I keep repeating myself enough times, you guys will take me seriously. Uh, so that's that's where we're at right now. I mean, we're at the part of where we think that it is about marketing. Now, like I said, do you still think it's something that draws you in? Will you will you guys still play this game? Is this a game that if you were like, hey, this seems controversial enough, like, where do you draw the line in the sand and say, I will not play this game? Like, what, what would stop you from playing a game? If you sat there and said to me right now, like, this is the reason why I won't play a game, Tell me what it is, because I'm, I'm actually intrigued by to see where the line is drawn for people. I think that is a very big step of, like, where where is that line really drawn for us? You know, are we going to be sitting here constantly saying, oh, the line isn't anywhere, we don't exist in it? Or is there a part where I feel like some of you guys would actually say, this is the line. I need to, I need to stop here and draw it. So we got here. Meat bag nerd. <laughs> is that is that the line you draw right there? Is that it? Is that what it is? All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see if we got more comments to where people said they draw Meat the line. Meat bag nerd. <laughs> okay, so I think I think we're at the part of where we, we see that kind of happen. Making sure we check everything. Okay, cool. So now, if you guys watch this video after time. And you guys are like, hey, this is what we're going to you know, wait for and we're going to watch. Uh, that's fine if you guys watch this later. If you watch this, please leave your responses down. I want to see this. Killing children with, with details shown. Ooh, that is, yeah. Dude, can I PM you a game to my Steam game? It's VR. If it's not, get in touch with it. Was it getting you a VR headset? Okay. Oh, oh. What? I'm trying to figure out what that was about. Um, I'll say yes, and, and I, I will try to say yes. I'll, I will do yes for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Dude, can I PM you? Do you want to PM me, is what you're saying, Corey Green? I, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, we'll just... Yeah. Uh, anyway, so moving on past that, guys. So we look at everything as far as everything goes. Uh, if you guys... 
Uh, Corey Green, no, I do not have a VR headset. Personally, I don't. Anyway, uh, let's move forward past that. Um, so, uh, as far as everything goes, uh, uh, but as far as everything goes, uh, it's one of those things where I can hear myself typing it on. Anyway, so as far as everything goes, guys, um, we look at everything and we said, do we think it's controversial? A lot of us agreed that it was marketing to controversial and that people aren't being controversial because they're trying to make a point, but more or less trying to capitalize off the hype. Now, that is one way of looking like at it. But the other part is, is that people could also just be controversial to make the points and we're just missing them and not seeing them as much as to the ones that are being reported. But we said that it was marketing, so I feel that it's marketing is a good idea because that's very true. Most of the time it is just marketing. But as far as the marketing goes, we also see that this controversy also has a limit to us where people were willing to respond. Even though killing children, Zachary, is, is, is a good point, I do know that other people has a point, like has one where it stops, where it is a trigger and it says, no, we can't do this. But to how far that trigger goes is the biggest part of it. So when do we stop being controversial and when do we start being more viable? You know, something that everyone agrees on, something that people feel consistent that this is. Like a viable opinion of where we draw the line. But I think it's, that is never going to be a real thing because it's almost like chasing a white rabbit in the fact that we will never hit that point because people are always shifting their opinions and their ideas. But I do think there is some common areas. But to where they shift or where they're going to go, that's the interesting part. Interesting part indeed. Anyway, guys, so this is the end of Cyber Insider, folks. We do appreciate you guys for being here, guys. Again, sorry I wasn't in the studio today. I had to deal with some stuff. I will be in the studio next week. So, guys, thank you for everyone being here. I do appreciate you guys so, so, so much. Again, guys, my name is Duncan, or I go by Dunk. If you like this video, please make sure you like, share, comment. And, guys, on the other aspect, that if you like, share, and comment, please, if you do all that fun stuff, make sure you share it. Double share it. I want you to share it again. Let people know we're here, guys. I like having these conversations and open times about discussing video games because this allows us to judge and understand where we're at and not feel alone in that wide, wide world of gaming, guys. All right? So, anyway, guys, thank you, everyone, for being here. I do appreciate it. And as I usually like to say at the end of every stream while I'm here, thanks for stopping by. You know, so I mean, that's 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 the kind of stuff that I like. I I, I, I I wonder about. Now, what, what are you gonna do with that? Yeah. You know. Uh, Bob Baker, uh, what's going on? Laughing my ass off. Uh, so which what, what are you talking about, Bob Baker? Are you talking about the video, or are you talking about our subject of topic? Because what we're talking about is for the sake of controversy, why people make controversial games, and I think that's kind of something where we're, we were kind of taking a, like a look into the effect of like, if you do video games in a certain manner in a way. So I felt like, hey, why don't we why don't we try something like that? You know, let's let's try to be a little more like consistent. So um, now, OK, so now here's another one. So this one was epically banned and it gained a lot of PR for it. And I, and I was very surprised about what it was. And I was I, I actually followed it out of mere like mere mere. I, I followed it out of mere just. I guess I guess more or less I was just, I really wanted to follow it because I wanted to know what happened to this controversial game. And I, I'm, I'm trying to think in my own words how I would explain that. Like, how would I explain to you guys that I wanted to follow, like, a fucked up game just to see where it went? Like, I was peaked. I think I wanted to see for myself, like, if it was as bad as everybody talked about it. Like, when a game, when somebody says something super bad, I'm kind of also, conf like, conflicted to go, like, I want to play this bad game just to see how bad it really is. How bad it could really get. Um, so on that point, like, and so, so just, let's, well, we'll watch this and you guys tell me how you feel about this game. Cause if you feel offended, if you feel this is over the top, but if you don't like, let me know. But I, I just want to know how people are feeling about this. Cause I, when I watched it, I felt a little bit offended 
And I didn't really pick out a lot of the stuff, but then like when people showed it, they picked it up and was like, oh shit, like this is really offensive. So let's see, let's see if you guys can watch this and, and see if you what you think. My name is not important. What is important is what I'm going to do. I just fucking hate this world and these human worms feasting on its carcass. My whole life is just cold, bitter hatred. And I always wanted to die violently. This is the time of vengeance, and no life is worth saving. And I will put in the grave as many as I can. It's time for me to kill. And it's time for me to die. My genocide crusade begins here. Great, have to go kiteboarding at Wasaga Beach today. Nice! Have a good one, Don Bryce. Thank you for being here. I do appreciate it. Well, I think it's great that you do that you do have that kind of setup for it, man. Uh, I definitely have to agree with you on this. Hype helps bring money to some degree. Uh, I, I have to agree to this. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, it's it is definitely something that I do see people draw that kind of line of where they say, is this just hype or country? So, but as far as we see, it's just more of marketing. Now, do you guys still, will you guys still play games like those? Like if it says fight of the gods, does it tickle your fancy enough to where you go like, Oh, Hey, I want to do it. You know, I, I think as a part, like to me, it, it does to me, like I, I am tickled by going like, Ooh, I want, I want to play this game. Thank you, Brandon. I appreciate it. <laughs> You think games? You know, Mr. Electron, you could stop teasing me. I'm, I'm not just a nerd. I am a individual with feelings that cares and has feelings and cares. And if I keep repeating myself enough times, you guys will take me seriously. Uh, so that's that's where we're at right now. I mean, we're at the part of where we think that it is about marketing. Now. Like I said, do you still think it's something that draws you in? Will you will you guys still play this game? Is this a game that if you were like, hey, this seems controversial enough, like, where do you draw the line in the sand and say, I will not play this game? Like, what, what would stop you from playing a game? If you sat there and said to me right now, like, this is the reason why I won't play a game, tell me what it is, because I'm, I'm actually intrigued by to see where the line is drawn for people. I think that is a very big step of, like, where where is that line really drawn for us? You know, are we going to be sitting here constantly saying, oh, the line isn't anywhere, we don't exist in it? Or is there a part where I feel like some of you guys would actually say, this is the line. I need to, I need to stop here and draw it. So we got here. And it's time for me to die. My genocide crusade begins here. So, 
as you guys can see, that was that was pretty f fucking rough. Like that was a very rough video to what we just watched there. And for that sake, that's 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 something that I was going like fucking rough. Like that was a very rough video. And like it so that game to me seems super blatantly just super blatantly doing it on purpose. Like that's that's something where I'm like you know what you're doing. You weren't doing this to spread a good idea or a great image or anything. You were so a part of that. Now, I'm, I'm all for freedom of speech in games and stuff like that. Um, I think it is a little bit questionable at that time. When we see something like that. <coughs> uh, that, that literally was just... It's very questionable. It's very questionable because, I mean, I mean look at the, the grand scheme of things. You show genocide. You're you're glorifying genocide. You're making it okay to shoot and murder people in any fashion. Didn't I mean? I guess I guess the plus side of anything that he wasn't being discriminatory of who he's killing. So he lives by his creed. <laughs> uh, but I mean, the fact that you preach genocide and people enacting this kind of thought idea is something that makes me wonder. Like that seems more blatant. Like, that seems like a very blatant thing, because if you're pushing the envelope... Now, the studio, when quoted... Hello. The studio, when quoted, they said straight up, 100%, that they were doing this on purpose, because uh, they wanted to push the envelopes of people's thoughts, to go outside the barrier and think things a little bit more, like, go go deep, and also provoke. And I, and I, and I think that's... If it's in the right context, I think that's okay. But in this context, I don't think that's okay. Because if you think about it, it's just, it's like... You're, you're advocating, you're advocating the worst thing ever, and that is just genocide. In my form, we're going to watch. Uh, that's fine if you guys watch this later. If you watch this, please leave your responses down. I want to see this. Killing children with, with details shown. Ooh, that is, yeah. Dude, can I PM you a game to my Steam game? It's VR. If it's not, get in touch with it. Was it getting you a VR headset? Okay. Oh, oh. What? I'm trying to figure out what that was about. Um, I'll say yes. And, and I, I will try to say yes. I'll, I will do yes for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Dude, can I PM you? Do you want to PM me? Is what you're saying, Corey Green? I, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, we we'll just yeah. Uh, anyway, so moving on past that, guys. So we look at everything as far as everything goes. Uh, if you guys, uh, Corey Green, no, I do not have a VR headset. Personally, I don't. Anyway, uh, let's move forward past that. Um, so, uh, as far as everything goes, uh, uh, but as far as everything goes, uh, it's one of those things where I can hear myself typing it on. Anyway, so as far as everything goes, guys. Um, we look at everything and we said, do we think it's controversial? A lot of us agreed that it was marketing to controversial and that people aren't being controversial because they're trying to make a point, but more or less trying to capitalize off the hype. Now, that is one way of looking like at it. But the other part is, is that people could also just be controversial to make the points and we're just missing them and not seeing them as much as to the ones that are being reported. But we said that it was marketing. So I feel that as marketing is a good idea because that's very true. Most of the time it is just marketing. But as far as the marketing goes... We also see that this controversy also has a limit to us, where people were willing to respond. Even though killing children, Zachary, is, is, is a good point, I do know that other people has a point, like has one where it stops, where it is a trigger, and it says, no, we can't do this. But to how far that trigger goes is the biggest part of it. So when do we stop being controversial, and when do we start being more viable? You know, something that everyone agrees on, something that people feel consistent that this is like a viable opinion of where we draw the line but i think it's, that is never going to be a real thing because it's almost like chasing a white rabbit in the fact that we will never hit that point 
because people are always shifting their opinions and their ideas. But I do think there is some common areas. But to where they shift or where they're going to go, that's the interesting part. Interesting part indeed. And it's time for me to die. My genocide crusade begins here. So, as you guys can see, that was, that was pretty f fucking rough. Like, that was a very rough video to what we just watched there. And for that sake, that's, that's, that's something that I was going like, fucking rough. Like, that was a very rough video. And, like, it's so... That game, to me, seems super blatantly, just super blatantly doing it on purpose. Like, that's, that's something where I'm like, you know what you're doing. You weren't doing this to spread a good idea or a great image or anything. You were so a part of that. Now, I'm, I'm all for freedom of speech in games and stuff like that. Um, I think it is a little bit questionable at that time. When we see something like that. <coughs> uh, that, that literally was just... It's very questionable. It's very questionable because, I mean, I mean look at the, the grand scheme of things. You show genocide. You're you're glorifying genocide. You're making it okay to shoot and murder people in any fashion. Didn't I mean? I guess I guess the plus side of anything that he wasn't being discriminatory of who he's killing. So he lives by his creed. <laughs> uh, but I mean, the fact that you preach genocide and people enacting this kind of thought idea is something that makes me wonder. Like that seems more blatant. Like, that seems like a very blatant thing, because if you're pushing the envelope... Now, the studio, when quoted... Hello. The studio, when quoted, they said straight up, 100%, that they were doing this on purpose, because uh, they wanted to push the envelopes of people's thoughts, to go outside the barrier and think things a little bit more, like, go go deep, and also provoke. And I, and I, and I think that's... If it's in the right context, I think that's okay. But in this context, I don't think that's okay. Because if you think about it, it's just, it's like... You're, you're advocating, you're advocating the worst thing ever, and that is just genocide. I, 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 it went for the Dark to get its recognized studio name. And they used it as fodder, and, and they kept it for where it was. Which it was a decent game. Um, I mean, I have the game, I have Hatred. Uh, I did play it. It was pretty dark. And you know, I was like, you know, I want to... I was, I was intrigued by the, the whole concept of it being controversial. But I also am the guy who played Manhunt 1 and 2. Uh, and I played tons of games that consist of horror. So, uh, you know, that's... And that's the part where I go, like, Postal never made it onto my list of, like, I want to play that. It was more of like, eh, it's Postal. You know, I, I'm not going to play a game that's controversial. Like, I need a little more of an end goal. And, and I think that's where I wanted to see certain games go. And I thought... What's hatred? And I wanted to see where that went. It turns out it was just basically, you know, just running around and shooting people. You know, you, you really didn't, kind of really didn't fail so much. Can I have that cup behind you itself to the left? Uh, you want my Slytherin or my Ravenclaw? Is that which one are you asking for there, Skylar? Uh, the, and, and to be honest, no, you can't have it because I have Slytherin. My girlfriend has Raven. What was that? Oh, sorry. Ravenclaw. I'm actually a Hufflepuff. I betrayed my colors. So I let that be my constant reminder in the background. So don't talk shit on my Hufflepuff, bitches. I'll Hufflepuff you in the face. Uh, killing like in GTA is it was it is it was it is just genocide with less ambition. We can't say something's wrong other than was it something is wrong and other are right. Yeah, you know that's true. That's true. We can't say something's wrong. Yeah. Uh, uh. So you guys feel like GTA is on the same level as hatred? Is that what you're? Is that where I'm kind of gauging this? Is that right now, Zachary? 
I did always think it was funny back in the days when they used to blame video games for everything. I mean, that's that's where people end up having the biggest issue. I mean, like, have you guys not seen that? Let's 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 look at this real quick. Let's let's go back. Uh, we're gonna look for video games. Video games are dangerous. Wow. How dangerous are violent video games? Wow. There's a lot of stuff being published on violence in video games. That is, like, I did not know that was actually a big topic for people. The effects of video games. So they're, they're literally just going through the 15 most racist video games ever. Jesus. There's a lot of, there's a lot of controversy on this. Yeah, Sims made kids burn the house down. Laugh out loud. <laughs> GTA is lame. Whatever happened to it being more about stealing cars? Uh, can I have a gang? Was it gang killings like GTA just genocide with the last ambition? So we got here. Meat bag nerd. <laughs> is that is that the line you draw right there? Is that it? Is that what it is? All right. Let's see. What we got here. Let's see if we got more comments to where people said they draw Meat the line. Meat bag nerd. <laughs> okay. So I think I think we're at the part of where we we see that kind of happen. Making sure we check everything. Okay. Cool. So now, if you guys watch this video after time. And you guys are like, hey, this is what we're going to you know, wait for and we're going to watch. Uh, that's fine if you guys watch this later. If you watch this, please leave your responses down. I want to see this. Killing children with, with details shown. Ooh, that is, yeah. Dude, can I PM you a game to my Steam game? It's VR. If it's not, get in touch with it. Was it getting you a VR headset? Okay. Oh, oh. What? I'm trying to figure out what that was about. Um, I'll say yes, and, and I, I will try to say yes. I'll, I will do yes for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Dude, can I PM you? Do you want to PM me, is what you're saying, Corey Green? I, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, we we'll just... Yeah. Uh, anyway, so moving on past that, guys. So we look at everything as far as everything goes. Uh, if you guys... Uh, Corey Green, no, I do not have a VR headset. Personally, I don't. Anyway, uh, let's move forward past that. Um, so, uh, as far as everything goes... Uh, uh, but as far as everything goes, uh, it's one of those things where... I can hear myself typing it on it. Anyway, so as far as everything goes, guys, um, we look at everything and we said, do we think it's controversial? A lot of us agreed that it was marketing to controversial and that people aren't being controversial because they're trying to make a point, but more or less trying to capitalize off the hype. Now, that is one way of looking like at it, but the other part is, is that people could also just be controversial to make the points and we're just missing them and not seeing them as much as to the ones that are being reported. But we said that it was marketing, so I feel that as marketing is a good idea, because that's very true most of the time it is just marketing. But as far as the marketing goes, we also see that this controversy also has a limit to us, where people were willing to respond. Even hey, what's going on, everybody? And welcome to another episode of Cyber Insider, guys. Now, I do appreciate... Oh, my God. Hold on real quick. Hey, what's All right, on, yes. And welcome to another uh, for a minute there, I was kind of confused on a little bit of things, but I'm glad that everybody's here, guys. If you're on our Twitch or Facebook Live... Oh, I'm just All reverbing right. over myself. There it is. All right, there we go. I had, I had to get rid of that. I was like, why am I reverbing over myself? Anyway, guys, if you're joining us from Twitch or Facebook Live, welcome, guys. My name is Duncan. I am your host of Cyber Insider. Yes, I'm not in the studio today, guys. Uh, I'm actually transitioning to some stuff and doing some things, but uh, I am here, nonetheless, doing this awesome show as usual. Now, I know I'm... 
I'm not wearing these. This awesome, I'm just going for gun flexing. Ugh, guns they are, no, I'm just kidding. But as you guys know, uh, what is it? It is the summer still, or kind of rolling out of the summers, going into the time of when we have to worry about Halloween, which I'm just excited about, but Halloween in general. But we gotta be doing that, guys. But um, anyway, just wearing a regular white beater. It says nothing on it, typical shirt. Plus I've been doing a lot of work around the house, so. Uh, but nonetheless, guys, we are here to discuss, and I know the topic seems a little bit weird because a lot of you guys got like, for controversy's sake. Um, and so this is something I've been, I've been kind of seeing lately, and, I, and I've been kind of a uh, really, uh, what is it, uh, ecstatic about. It's, it's the fact that we see a lot of games out there that are made for controversy. Uh, things that people bring up to build controversy, to talk controversy. And it's, it got me thinking on the idea is that, is things today being done for controversial sake? You know, like, I just want to be controversial, so I'm going to make a game this way. One of the games that came up to me in this kind of discussion was, uh, and, I'll, and I'll bring it up here, I'm, I'm trying to remember it. Uh, I think Fight, was it Fight of the Gods? Was that Fight of Gods? Where basically you're different deities, and uh, you basically fight it out amongst each other. And I think that's kind of cool. Like, I mean, that's for me. It's not the ever greatest thing ever, but I'll show it to you guys. This is this is the game itself, and I'll show you a little bit of the clip it, so you guys can kind of get an idea of what we're talking about here. So give me a second here. I'm, I'm just trying to bring it up. So if I can, if, if the display goes on this. Uh, so also, guys, I want to definitely say, guys, also check out our sponsor, Jinx, guys. If you've not checked them out, boop, boop, check it out right there. Make sure you check out Jinx, guys. Go to their website. They've been nothing but awesome people. Great sponsors. They've given us a lot of quick, was it cool swag and stuff like that. So I appreciate it, guys, for being here. And guys, you you guys kick ass. So anyway, guys, uh, nonetheless, I want to also just go over. So we're going to look at this trailer. This is uh, Fight of the Gods. Hopefully you guys can hear it as it goes because I'm, I'm going to have to hear it too. So um, let's see. Can we add a display there? So you say this is the line. I need to I need to stop here and draw it. Let's see what we got here. Meat bag nerd. <laughs> is that is that the line you draw right there? Is that it? Is that what it is? All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see if we got more comments to where people said they draw Meat the line. Meat bag nerd. <laughs> okay, so I think I think we're at the part of where we we see that kind of happen. Making sure we check everything. Okay, cool. So now, if you guys watch this video after time. And you guys are like, hey, this is what we're going to you know, wait for and we're going to watch. Uh, that's fine if you guys watch this later. If you watch this, please leave your responses down. I want to see this. Killing children with, with details shown. Ooh, that is, yeah. Dude, can I PM you a game to my Steam game? It's VR. If it's not, get in touch with it. Was it getting you a VR headset? Okay. Oh, oh. What? I'm trying to figure out what that was about. Um, I'll say yes, and, and I, I will try to say yes. I'll, I will do yes for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Dude, can I PM you? Do you want to PM me, is what you're saying, Corey Green? I, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, we we'll just... Yeah. Uh, anyway, so moving on past that, guys. So we look at everything as far as everything goes. Uh, if you guys... Uh, Corey Green, no, I do not have a VR headset. Personally, I don't. Anyway, uh, let's move forward past that. Um, so, uh, as far as everything goes... Uh, uh, but as far as everything goes, uh, it's one of those things where... 
I can hear myself typing it on it. Anyway, so as far as everything goes, guys, um, we look at everything and we said, do we think it's controversial? A lot of us agreed that it was marketing to controversial. You can't be conscious enough to do that. Like, so here's something that went up that I think is funny. State of California always calls itself progressive. And I think, you know, that we, we are pretty ahead of ourselves at times. But I also think we're very convoluted. And as of recent, crime has increased. Riots. Like I, it was like I said last week. Let's go back to you. <laughs> I didn't quite three. That's true. Um, so, and, and, and here's the thing is that it, it, it equates to this. The violence and increase in California or Orange County itself has increased not because we, there's something bad that happens. It's mostly because the political climate has changed. And now protesters who are to be fighting for everyone's cause are now attacking people who they think are part of the cause. So now they're so angry they're attacking innocent people. To me, they, now you're just going out and doing something stupid. You're ruining a good message just because you feel that you're like, you must be heard! You must, like, what are you gonna do? It's that anger and hatred that ruins things. It's that anger and hatred that brings people anger, like, it's, you gotta help people understand, or not understand, not, like, learn. Because they'll never understand because they're not that person. But learning helps people progress. I think if we stop learning, we, we, we only hurt ourselves. I love it when someone tells me they are offended. <laughs> well, you know, again, it's, it, it, it's all perspective. It's all perspective, like why people are offended. You know, you may not find something offensive as somebody does find something offensive. <sighs> Sorry. Been a long day. Been doing a lot of stuff. So, I mean, when you look at it that way, what, 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 what's offensive to you? And do you think it's really what's something you should be passionate to fight for? I mean, do you feel that passionate to fight for whatever you think it is? I mean, some people do, which that's why I say it's not always because of one or the other. But I still wonder. Still wonder, though. <coughs> the issue now says people seem to get their news... From Facebook memes, leaving th was that thought was that thought on the side, and it's very lazy of them in this issue that no one researches issues anymore, it's in a form complete ideas. I have in the past ex military here. Depends. Yeah, it, it's very true. It's very true. It's very true. Hold on, real quick. I'm gonna get some water. Grabbing water. And there is a fine line between censorship too. Because it never seems that we can walk a very fine line of anything. I mean, we've proven this countless times. We 